five-point plan to cut immigration has been announced by the UK government, which includes banning care workers from bringing over their families and raising the minimum salary for a skilled worker visa. I welcome you back to my channel. Once again, my name is Ms. Bimbo, a UK care assistant and a Nigerian trained pharmacist. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing the latest updates regarding migrating to the United Kingdom, either as a skilled worker or as a care assistant or as a student or your own spouse visa. There are lots of things that are going on. As we know that the UK uh, is like their weather is epileptic when it comes to policy making. And the government is trying so hard to cut down net migration. So the Home Secretary James Cleverly has come out to propose this five-point agenda to achieve the reduction in the number of immigrants that are entering into the UK. As net migration has hit 745,000 since 2022. According to the Home Secretary, this five-point agenda takes effect from April 2024 because he mentioned from spring and i'm going to be sharing the video clip of the home secretary later on in this particular video so if today is your first time coming across my channel please do well to like my video share this video out and don't hesitate to smash the subscribe button point one is for health and care visas overseas care workers will not be able to bring family dependents to end the abuse of health and care visa Care firms that want to sponsor people for visa applications will need to be regulated by the Care Quality Commission. A dependent is defined by the government as a husband or wife, civil partner or unmarried partner, and the children under 18. Point two is skilled worker visa minimum salary change. The threshold for an application will rise by nearly 50% from £26,200 to £38,700. Although health and care workers will still be able to earn less before applying for the routes. This means that before an employer can actually offer a certificate of sponsorship to a skilled worker, that employer needs to be able to pay a minimum of £38,700 to that employee in one month. Point number three is for shortage occupation list. And the UK government wants to scrap cut price shortage labor from overseas by reforming the way people working in short-staffed sectors can apply to come to the United Kingdom. What this means is that they are trying to review the shortage occupation list. Either they are going to take out some of the jobs on the shortage occupation list or they are going to increase the threshold for the minimum wage you know, required to get a certificate of sponsorship to come via the skilled worker routes like they have actually proposed. Point four is for family visas. The minimum threshold for a family visa will also be raised to £38,700 to ensure people only bring dependents whom they can support financially. Currently, it stands at the 2012 rate of 18,600. So this means that even if you're getting married to like a British man or a British woman, that British uh, citizen needs to earn a minimum of 37,800 pounds before they can, you know, sponsor you, I mean, marry you and then give you a spousal visa. That's what it means. Like it's becoming expensive for British people to even marry from outside the United Kingdom. <laughs> And this last point is for student visas. Following the tightening of who can bring in family members on student visas earlier this year, the government will ask the Migration Advisory Committee to review the graduate route to prevent abuse and protect the integrity and quality of UK higher education. So this is talking about the post-study work visa for students who have actually come to the United Kingdom, I mean international students, to do their master's program which allows them two years post-study work visa in order for them to look for a sponsored job after their study so they are planning to scrap this two-year post-study work visa so if you're a student these are information that you need to get at the tip of your fingers so as to guide you in your decision making if you are not yet in the united kingdom or if you're currently in the uk on a student visa and you don't have a dependent who has got a sponsored job yet then you need to acts fast. In addition, the immigration health surcharge, IHS, will rise by 66% from £624 to £1,035. 
The first of our five points will be to end the abuse of the health and care visa. We will stop overseas care workers from bringing family dependents and we will require care firms in England to be regulated by the Care Quality Commission in order for them to sponsor visas. Approximately 120,000 dependents accompanied 100,000 care workers and senior care workers in the year ending September 2023. Only 25% of dependents are estimated to be in work, meaning a significant number are drawing on public services rather than helping to grow the economy. Yeah. Yeah. We recognise we recognise that farm workers do great work in our NHS and health sector, but it is also important that migrants make a big enough financial contribution. Therefore. We will increase annual immigration health surcharge this year by 66% from £624 to £1,035 to raise, on average, around £1.3 billion for the health services of this country every year. Second, we will stop immigration undercutting the salary of British workers. We will increase the skilled worker earnings threshold by a third to 38,700 from yeah, next spring, yeah, yeah, yeah. in line with the median full-term wage for those kinds of jobs. Those coming on health and social care visa routes will be exempt, so we can continue to bring in the healthcare workers on which our care sector and NHS rely. Thirdly, we will scrap cut price shortage labour from overseas by ending the 20% going rate salary discount for shortage yeah. occupations and reforming the shortage occupation list. I have asked the Migration Advisory Committee to review the occupations on this list because of our new higher skilled worker salary threshold. And we will create a new immigration salary list with a reduced number of uh, occupations. People only bring dependents who they can support financially. By raising the minimum income for family visas to the same threshold as the minimum salary threshold for skills workers, which is 38,700. The minimum income requirement of 18,600 has not been increased since 2012. Madam Deputy Speaker, this package of measures will take place from next spring. Finally, Having already banned overseas master's students from bringing family members to the UK, I have asked the Migration Advisory Committee to review the graduate route to prevent abuse, to protect the integrity and quality of the UK's outstanding higher education sector. It needs to work in the best interests of the UK, supporting the pathway into high quality jobs for the global talent pool, but reducing opportunities for abuse. Madam Deputy Speaker, this package of measures, taken in addition with the measures on student dependent, dependence that we have already announced in May, means that around 300,000 fewer people will be eligible to come to the UK than were coming last year. This is the largest reduction on record. Immigration policy must be fair, consistent, legal, and sustainable. That is why we are also taking the fight to illegal migration. Our plan to stop the boats is working. Small boat arrivals are down by a third, even as illegal migration across the rest of Europe is on the rise. Madam Deputy Speaker, today we have taken decisive action to reduce legal migration with our five-point plan. Enough is enough. We are curbing abuses to the healthcare visa. We are increasing thresholds, cutting the SOL discount, increasing family income requirements and cutting the number of student dependents. And I commend this statement to the House. Yeah.